In this video, we're going to be using Razor Rock Orange Sunrise and the Lupo 0.95. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using the Razor Rock Lupo, which is really in the budget realm for a stainless steel razor. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the soap, which is Razor Rock Orange Sunrise, which is in their What the Puck, Puck with a P uh, series. And these are very, very hard soaps, triple milled, exceptional value on these. If you get all three of these together, they're like they're less than a dollar an ounce, about 78 cents an ounce, which is a chart buster because it's less than even a dollar an ounce. Really exceptional. They will yield a very, very decent lather. They are slick. Uh, I, I think it's really a good value and they will last a long time because they're super hard and triple milled. The scent on this particular one is a bright orange. I call it medium to medium high. We'll show you the ingredients of the puck right there and again, these are really, really hard. So what I do is I press, I cut a sliver off with my knife, just a sliver, a thin sliver, press it into my bowl and then lather it. And we've already got it whipped up here today. And you can see that in our captain's choice bowl, no problem at all. And there will be soap left over <laughs> at the end of this shave. These triple melt soaps really yield a lot of shave uh, per volume. I think I heard the shaving disciple mentioning yesterday that per volume, they yield more than maybe a super soft soap. The razor for today, again, Razor Rock Lupo. This is all stainless steel, comes to you for $69.99, made in Canada. It is a terrific razor, 0.95 blade gap. I wanna show you the blade that we're using today. Let's unscrew it. I am using a treat blade, which I don't use often. It's kind of cool, that black. Look, I don't know if I've ever used a treat blade before to tell you the truth. I might have years ago and I've forgotten it's entirely possible. Oh, by the way, back there, you're seeing my, uh, brush from yesterday hanging up. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the shave. <laughs> Don't forget, because I forgot to mention some things. And of course, our Lancaster. Anyway, we look forward to using the Lupo today. Let's get into it. This is just plain water. I'm spraying about 24 hours of growth there, but uh, you can't really see as well in this particular restroom as the, uh, the lighting's not quite as good. By the way, if you want to see the way I make my lathers, I always have tutorials uh, below and you can watch that. Today's brush is again, a P Shave Co handcrafted series. And for a handcrafted brush, this one runs around 50 bucks to my house. And that too is a good budget value. So we're definitely in the realm of a budget shave today. It is not the least expensive stuff, but for the type of things that they are, they are quite inexpensive. Like I said, all stainless razor, sub $100 is quite inexpensive. A artisan crafted brush, um, you know, at around 50 bucks, maybe a little over is quite a good value as well. And as you can see here, no problem with the Razor Rock Lather. Really nice, bright orange scent. It does take a little effort to um, lather the harder, the triple milled soaps. Some people like to soften them. And uh, sometimes I do that. I'll press it into my bowl and put a little warm water on top of it to bloom it, if you will. And that helps some people. But one thing to... Uh, to note is you will get a lot of shaves out of a triple milled or really hard so that much I can you know reasonably state based on my years of experience with softer soaps you tend to use more you know that's just been my experience all right this smells really nice by the way and you'll see people use these every now and then but they're not something you you see in your shave of the day every day they all smell good too there's one that's lime there's a blue barbershop that smells fantastic and i really enjoy using these from time to time they are certainly good value and if lathered properly they'll hit the spot for you all right let's get going with our lupo today which i love the, this lupo was redesigned it was at the beginning of 2021 i can't remember or end of 2020 and they changed it from the older one and it is a nice, nice razor. They do sell it with, um, I believe they have it in 0.72 as well, maybe 6.8, I'm not sure. I'm talking about the blade gap there for those of you who are new. Um, generally speaking, but not always, the more blade gap you have, the more efficient a razor will be, but that is not across the board because blade exposure also matters. 
as you know. But blade gap and blade exposure are some of the measurements that uh, we use to measure efficiency, but that doesn't tell the entire tale. There's also the geometry and the way the blade is held in the razor that comes into play. There's all sorts of things, but generally we use blade gap and blade exposure. I'm not sure what the exposure on this razor is. It is a very smooth shaver. And I'm liking the treat blade today. That's feeling pretty good, honestly. I'm liking that a lot. Very nice. Yeah, the Lupo for the money is just fantastic. I prefer the Lupo slightly over the Game Changer. Um, I can't really say why. I just, I don't know. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. Um, but I like both, and I own both. And I have the Mamba as well. I love that. And you know I love the Hawk. As I often say when I use a uh, Razor Rock stainless steel offering, their stainless steel hardware is very hard to beat. They are a tremendous value. You get a very good product for a very good price. And I certainly like that. Very, very nice. Smooth shaver. The treat blade seems to be a good match here for me today. I can't remember using treat, but I probably have at some point. Like I was saying the other day when I was, uh, I've been going through the effort of trying to go back and I'm not watching all my videos, but looking at the titles in the videos and looking at the links to try to uh, compile a spreadsheet of all the soaps that I've owned and tried over the years. And um, I've used a lot of stuff I completely forgot. <laughs> it's, it's just been so long and I've done so many that you just forget. Again, just plain water here. It's not, uh, it's just room temperature, by the way plain water and we're just rehydrating the face and what the mister does for me it just makes it a little more instead of splashing water on my face and getting it all over the sink and everywhere it's easier just to, to do this boom you're done it's pretty evenly distributed I like doing it that way if you don't want to do it that way that's okay but I think we'll do maybe we'll do a two pass today we've been having really good luck with doing two passes where we sort of do one pass on residual and we'll see how the Razor Rock, what the puck holds up on a, you know, try to shave on residual, which I don't re recommend for new people. Again, I know what I can get away with. You may not, you will over time. So rest assured, if you don't know now, as you gain some experience, you will, uh, you will learn what your face can, can and will tolerate. And that's always key. Really folks, when it comes down to it, and I've uh, spoken to this in the past, Technique and knowledge, and primarily when I say knowledge, I mean knowing how your face responds to certain things. That will get you further than any piece of equipment. It is really important that you have a good blade that you agree with. To me, the actual cutting blade is the most important piece of equipment um, after technique. Technique and knowledge is number one, blade is two. Razor would be like three, and then of course, you know, or actually I would say, let me put it to you this way. Technique, blade, soap, razor. You could probably flip soap or razor. You know, brush coming in near the end because it really doesn't matter. You can apply a lather with just about any kind of brush. It doesn't really matter. Brush is really a preference thing. All right. That's enough. We got enough lather going there. It smells great, by the way. Nice, bright orange scent. I love it. You know, we can't help what we like, and I am a lover of those bright, fresh scents. They're not the only scents that I like, but I certainly prefer them. All right, let's go across. Let's go against. Well, actually, the grain on my neck runs this way, so all the passes I do are across on my neck. But we'll do against the grain on my cheeks are this way. And so we'll, we'll go up. And then we will uh, we'll go across too, once we get the cheeks cleared. Very nice. This really is a good razor. And it gets a lot of um, positive comments for good reason. It's very smooth. It's well-priced. I think it's handsome. It's a good looking razor overall. And you can get, this handle may not be for you. You may not like it. They offer four or five different handle options 
they're not always in stock, all the handles, but you can probably ha find a handle that you really like. And it really is a good, smooth shaver. You don't have to get the 9.5, which is the most efficient. And so now I'm shaving on residual slickness. And as you can see there, see how the, the razor's just gliding? So that's still slick. And it just, I think it goes to show that even very inexpensive soaps, these coming at 78 cents an ounce, and sometimes I've seen them even cheaper when you bundle them. Um, 78 cents is the bundled price, but I've seen them even cheaper than 78 bundled. It's all about the way you lather and get hydration in the soap, because I assure you that is super slick. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make these, uh, you know, continual strokes over that area. It would can only do so much. You do need a, a, a layer of slickness there. However, I have shaved before, and I just sort of linked this with Johan yesterday because I've been watching his series on Mitchell's Wolf, or not Mitchell's, <laughs> uh, Wim's Mug Soap, and he does not like that soap because it doesn't bring him the type of lather that he likes visually, but it is slick, and slickness is the absolute key. If you have slickness, you are good. doesn't matter what the lather looks like. If it's slick and you have good technique, you'll be fine. Last year, I did a shave, and I think it was like straight razor shave number 59 or something like that. I did a straight razor shave with my own edge with just water, just to illustrate that even as a new straight razor shaver technique, if you have relatively decent technique and you don't come in too hot, that even with water, I mean, you can shave as long as you have something that's, you know, allows the razor to glide somewhat. Now, you're gonna do a lot better with soap, so don't, I'm not recommending that you shave with only water. Um, Johan had said in this video that you need a better soap than Williams to do a straight razor shave, and that to me is false. Because <laughs> it's already been illustrated that you can shave without soap at all. If you have good technique, you can do pretty much anything, honestly. Now, again, understanding that for me, technique, part of technique is also knowledge and knowing what your skin will put up with. But Williams will work just fine for straight razor shaving. Um, it'll work for all kinds of shaving. And even though it doesn't look great sometimes when lathered, it's still slick and that's the key, from, in my opinion. And I'm not cracking on Johan, so please don't take it that way. I'm just saying um, um, we put a lot of emphasis on products and the main thing that you should emphasize always is technique technique will get you farther than any piece of equipment always so keep that in mind that's what i want to get across today all right very nice that was an excellent shave you see all that work on residual the what the puck um orange uh sunrise quite slick so no problem with that all right let me rinse and then we'll come back get into the post stay tuned all right, we are back at Alcan. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock alum. This is my travel alum. Following that, we did a uh, cool water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel Magic, because it's made by witches, and an excellent shave today. But before we wrap up the items used, I wanted to show you again, this was sent to me by Mr. Rap the other day, and when I did the unboxing the other day, I didn't show you what it looks like when you use it. So. Here's a carabiner. You could just clip it onto something, but it also has a slip, a little knot right there where you can tighten it down. That knot goes up and down. And so it sort of secures your brush. And then you just simply hang it up and let it dry. So when traveling, that's very nice. This is paracord. And it's something that I've done for years, although I didn't make it this way with the sliding knot and all that. That's very nice. So thank you, Mr. Rep. I wanted to show that. That's very cool. And it dries the brush really nicely. All right. To the equipment we use today, Razor Rock Lupo 95 with the treat blade. Fantastic budget stainless steel razor. And when I say budget, I don't mean you're lacking anything because this is a terrific shaver. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. We used our Razor Rock What the Puck series Orange Sunrise. I want to show you. I rinsed the lather out of the bowl. Look how much soap is still left. If that were a soft soap, it wouldn't be much, but that is a hard soap. And I promise you, I could make probably at least three 
lathers the way I did today off of that amount of soap. So I use far more than I need. So when you're using a triple milled soap, you don't need much. Probably, probably this little piece just right here would have been more than enough for the shave today. But you know, I always use a little more just in case. Uh, we used our AP Shave Co brush, uh, and we're gonna close it out today with uh, Razor Rock Emperor. And you can see I'm getting towards the end of this one. And this one smells like a Creed Aventus. And we will be smelling good and off to the races and having a great shave. And I hope wherever you are, you have some excellent shaves as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.